Welcome to part three of five of my free course, How to Get Sales on Etsy Fast. If you have not yet downloaded the free ebook, please do so in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do new videos all the time on Etsy e-commerce and personal success. My name is Dave. Welcome back if you're not new. So let's jump into lesson three today. Lesson three is a pretty, pretty important one because... Etsy, selling on Etsy with the marketplace kind of leaves a few holes in terms of the e-commerce world. So let me compare this back to if you were to have a standalone website, right? Somebody would come to your website, you, you would have a form for them to sign up and give you their email for in exchange for a coupon code. You would be able to get an email there. Uh, then you would be able to send them an abandoned cart email if they abandon a cart then after a purchase you would be able to remarket to them then you would be can you would be able to continuously market to them and upsell them etc with a with a standalone website you would be able to have um you know apps in place that would upsell them you would be able to have apps in place that would cross sell them when they add something to their cart it offers something else to them with a discount, etc. There's a lot more functionality to having a standalone website. But with an Etsy, there are a few things that you can do. But if you are not doing them, then you're essentially relying on all just brand new customers most of the time. And that you know model of business is not very sustainable. It's it's 10 times easier to get a brand a sale from a returning customer than it is to get a sale from a brand new customer. So keep that in mind as we go through this whole entire lesson. So the first thing that I want to go over is the abandoned cart coupons and the favorited coupon emails. So Etsy used to charge you 10 cents for each one of these emails. And I think they got rid of that pretty quickly because of a few reasons. First reason is Charging 10 cents per email is like shooting themselves in the foot when when somebody goes to compare their platform to having a standalone where you can email as your customers as many times as you want for free is granted that you have permission to email them, then, you know, it's a no brainer to go in that direction just for that comparison, you know. So they took that away pretty quick. You know, it lasted maybe like three, four, I think six months, honestly, they were charging 10 cents per email. And then you would be able to set a budget for how many emails you would want to send out per month or the max, which was pretty silly. But now it's free. And another reason that I think it's free is because the uh, effectiveness of it kind of died off. In the beginning, they would send out a ton and you would see that in your statistics and your dashboard, but it kind of dropped off pretty quickly. And I, the reason being, I believe, is that all the email service providers started seeing Etsy, these Etsy remarketing emails as spam and they would go to spam filter. They would go through the spam filter. They would go into the promotions tab in Gmail, etc. Whatever platform it was, they, they started identifying it as spam because so many sellers were able to just send every single abandoned cart email and every single favorited coupon email. Now, what I believe, the reason that people see a drop and they say, I've, I've seen a lot of comments here on my channel about people saying, you know, my emails aren't sending. And, and that's true. I believe that's really true. Etsy has been very, very vague about why this is. And if you read between the lines, you can kind of figure it out. I believe that it is the now they're not only you know, they prioritize us in search, but I also now believe in order to keep the integrity of their email and, and the reputation of their marketing emails to email service providers to keep them from landing in so many spam boxes, I believe they're also prioritizing what emails they send out for us. So I believe the shops that convert really high and if you in, in the emails that sh that convert really high as well, those ones get sent out way more often than from shops that don't convert very well. I, I truly, truly believe that. And if, if I was Etsy, I would probably pull the same thing because otherwise you'd have a ton of emails coming out from your IP address and you'd be getting sent to the spam box every single time. So they had to figure out some way to kind of minimize that damage. Sure, they still send out some emails for us, but it was nothing like it was when we were paying 10 cents per email. So anyway... 
If you do not have your abandoned cart coupons set up, you need to set them up. You go to marketing, then you go to sales and coupons, and you can find it all there. Now, you need to give people a pretty decent amount uh, percentage off. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. You're not going for maximum profit in this situation. You're going for quantity of sales here. So these people abandoned their carts, and most of them were not going to come back Anyway, so if you can get them to convert even at 25, 30% off, then yeah, make it happen. Give them a good discount and make it happen. I've heard some, you know, paranoid sellers say, what if, you know, Etsy buyers catch on to this and start adding things to their cart waiting for the abandoned cart email? That's not, <laughs> that may be the case. Maybe some people do that. Very little amount of people do that. And like I said, with the emails getting kind of, you know, throttled back, then it's not like every single shop is going to be getting an email out or Etsy is going to be sending an email out for every single shop. So that's I for an Etsy buyer to do that. I really don't think that's a viable strategy for them saving money. And even if they were, you know, good on them, have your discount. Congratulations. You made a sale. They got a discount. Happy day. Right. Either way, you need to be setting up abandoned cart coupons. I've spoke to so many sellers in the coaching calls that have not set this up. And by the way, if you guys would like a coaching call, link in the description to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me personally. So the next one is favorited coupon emails. This is a funny one as well because uh, it, before this was set up, you know, there would be a whole lot of spammers in Etsy, people sending out, hey, I've seen that you favorited my coupon. Here's, or favorited my item. Here's a coupon. And, and that still happens, don't get me wrong. But I think Etsy set this up to you know, kind of calm those people down, like, hey, we'll do that for you. Just please stop spamming everybody. Um, and again, you need to give a good coupon here as well, because the favorited people, they were definitely a, a large percentage of them is just throwing, you know, items in their saved list in their favorited list. And it's really just like a wish list. It's not really a to, to buy list. So if you give them a good do, discount, then the, their to buy list will turn into a actual purchase, right? So make sure that's set up as well. It, it, it's common sense to have these set up, but you would be surprised how many people I speak to that don't have it set up. So having these two set up will automatically, statistically speaking, raise your Etsy sales because there will be that percentage of people that convert from those two marketing efforts. No matter what size your Etsy is, there will be people that convert from it. So the next one is thank you coupons. This one is kind of hidden. Uh, well, it used to be hidden. If you go to marketing, then sales and coupons, you have to create a new coupon and it has to be a code. And then you have the option to check the little checkbox that, say make, that says make this the thank you coupon. Make sure that you're sending this. Um, it sends... I think it's like 24 or 48 hours after it's after the item is delivered, right? So this again, this will help convert as well. If you had a standalone website, then you'd be sending out emails that was a thank you coupon, maybe 24 or 48 hours or even a few days after it's been delivered or marked delivered. And depending on the email service that you use, all of them allow you to do this as long as it's linked up to the platform you're using, for example, Shopify, WooCommerce, whatever it is. They, there's ways to track that and there's ways to have the automated email go out with your thank you coupon. So that is a really powerful one as well. You want to have thank you coupons set up in your Etsy shop. Again, statistically speaking, there will be a percentage of people that convert from that coupon no matter what, no matter what your size is of Etsy. So this is the real juice of this lesson is structuring upsales. Nobody really talks about this and I've not seen any you know videos period on this on YouTube. So this is really important because Etsy gives you, Etsy does something very important in the, in the checkout process, in, in the cart. If, if a shop is offering 15% off two or more items, then at the top of the cart, it will say, hey, buy one more item from this shop to receive 15% off. It gives them a prompt, right? This is a really, really common tactic in, in, in e-commerce if you have a standalone website. There's plenty of more spots to market like this with a standalone website, but the bare minimum here that Etsy is actually doing is in the cart. So if you set up multiple offers like this, there will be multiple prompts for 
buyers to continue adding things to their cart. So this is how I want, this is just a great, this is just one example, but there's a ton of other ways to do it. So 15% off two or more items, 20% off three or more items, 25% off orders above $150. So you'd be surprised how many shoppers that are out there that come to your shop, like your stuff, and just buy one or two things. But they're they're hardcore online shoppers. They love spending money. And if they get that prompt to do so, they absolutely will. So you, you if you have it set up properly, you will see people start jamming their cart full and buying more things. This is how I consistently get orders with like three to five items in each thing. And my average order, you know, my average product cost or my average product price, sorry, is around thirty to fifty dollars. So when people order three to five items, it that's a big order and that's great. That's way more money than if somebody was just buying one thing, not being prompted to buy another thing. It's really simple psychology here, and if you give them these options and these structures to buy more things people will. Statistically speaking, more people, whatever your size of your Etsy shop, again, same thing with the last things, people will buy more stuff. No matter what, what your size is, there will be a percentage of people that follow these prompts and buy more stuff from you. And this in turn will help you get more sales and make more money on Etsy. So if you enjoyed this video, you guys, please leave a like and comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.